guys in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a social media post using adobe photoshop these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial and over here is the test and the code i'm going to use in this tutorial if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video and if you are old here thanks i really appreciate for your following so without any further ado let's get started So the first thing i'm going to copy this color code here ctrl plus c to copy as you all know then now i'm going to use gradient fill color over here then i'll click on this one then select the fill color now i will go to this place then and select the color then ctrl plus v to paste now go back to your test and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then go and click around here then open the view color ctrl plus v to paste now i will select somewhere around here then go back and copy the color ctrl plus c to copy then while you come over here then ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok and the last one then i'm going to click this one and copy it so if you can know this code here is 000 so this 00 is black then i'm going to select this one and ctrl plus v2 paste you can see this is black then i'll click ok here then click on this place over here the upper one here then and increase your opacity then to fill it this way then now i'm going to click ok to apply it then go to your fill color here i mean to your test here then you can see the angle here is 132 and the scale is 150 so over here now then i'm going to click on this angle and i will enter 132 and the scale 150 then come over to this style here and select radia so you can see the outcome of it then i'll click ok to apply it right here all right so having selected it now then the next one we are going to do then let us begin with our resources so over here i'm going to select this one first and now we reduce the size this way then click ok to apply it then go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this one then reduce the size this way it's okay i'm going to leave it because i want it to be more bigger all right so i'm going to leave it this way it's okay like this then i'll select this one and increase the size something like this then all right then i'll go back again to my resources then and now we import this one then having import this one so what i will do i will drag this one below to go back then and i'm going to rasterize it right click and rasterize so the next thing i'm going to do now I'm going to select my marquee tool over here then i will alight this one right click and i will cut it so hold your control key while you drag it over here then hold your control key while you select this one so when you select this one then it will come back to the original layer so what i will do again then i will use my marquee tool then to alight this one like this then right click and cut it so hold your control key while you drag it and position it over here all right so then hold your control key then you select this one it will come back to the original one then i'm going to align this one right click and cut it so hold your control key then you can now move this one then to change the position 
somewhere like this i'll place it here then and the last one i'm going to select this one then highlight it right click and then cut it so hold your control key once again while you now move this one to this position all right so you can put them in any position you want then i will prefer to put place them over here so let me keep them here it's okay then okay so now we are going to import this one and now we take it over here then reduce the size and now we position it like this increase the size a little then something like this then click ok ok so the last one then we are going to leave it for now while we bring in our test so select your test tool over here or you click you click um you press t press t for test tool using your keyboard so and i'm going to click over here to begin with the test and the font i'm using here is this dcc hash so now go to your test and i'm going to copy this one over here Control plus c to copy you can also right click and then make a copy then Control plus v to paste so now i'm going to increase the font size so this font will look like this then i'll position it over here make sure the font is centralized okay then Control plus j to duplicate or you can drag it over here when you hold it when you hold it just click on it and you drag it over here then your test will be du duplicated okay so now i'm going to select this one and we are going to move it from this position down here all right then select your test tool once again go to your test document and make a copy of this one Control plus c to copy or you can right click then and make your copy then we are going to highlight this one Control plus a to highlight or when you go to select then you click select all it will highlight now Control plus v to paste so to paste it you can also do the same thing when it is aligned like this then you can right click and then you see paste over here to paste your test okay so that is it now i'm going to select the two letter over here so hold your control key i have i have duplicated it twice here so i'm going to delete this one so hold your control key while you select this or you hold your shift key then and select it now i'm going to reduce this font size this way is okay now i'm going to select my test again then once i'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy now i'm going to select my test tool and this time around i'm going to change this font here so then go to your font and i'm going to use the font tuesday night so this is the font i'm going to use here tuesday night so i will select it then Control plus v to paste so having pasted it we are going to increase the size now select the test and increase the size So it's okay like this so the next i'm going to do now that i'm going to select this once over here then why i will click hold your shift key then you select this one so i'm going to select the two over there then use my arrow key then to bring it down after doing that then i'm going to select this floor here so i'm going to look for that floor all right so this is the floor now i'm going to drag it up and position it this way it's all right 
So I've been doing this one now. So the next I'm going to do now that I'm going to select my rent angle two, and I'm going to draw a rent angle over here like this. Then change the color to red, and I'm going to apply a shape to it a shape like this it's all right all right so then i'm going to select my test tool then go back to your test and over here and we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then and we are going to paste it over here so ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font there So now we are going to use the font Montserrat. Then now increase the font size to bold. So now we are going to increase the font size. Think like this should be okay. Why I'm going to reduce the size of this one? Hold your shift key, then why you reduce it this way rather than the other way? Okay, position this one well now, then duplicate it, drag it over here to duplicate it. So, having duplicated, then we are going to drag this one down by bringing it down now. Hold your shift key while you bring it down so that it will be straight. Then we are going to copy the contact line and select your test tool. So when you select your test tool, then we are going to alight this one. Ctrl plus A to alight, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay, so now we have this one here. So I'm going to select the test. Hold your shift key while you select the two tests inside the rent angle. And hold your shift key while you reduce the size. Then you click OK. Then to apply it. Now I'm going to duplicate this rent angle over here. Then you drag it over here to duplicate it. Now I'm going to move it over here. Then reduce the size this way. It's okay. Now come over to your test. And we are going to make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then we can also duplicate this test here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then come over here and drop it. And we are going to reduce the size like this. So use your arrow key then to arrange it. Then we are going to select our test tool. Then click inside of it. Then go to select here and select all. Or you use Ctrl plus A to select all. That is to alight all. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we have this. And we are going to increase the font size inside there. And then click OK to apply it. So the last one we are going to do now, then we are going back to our resource file and we are going to import this. Now reduce the size, position it around the end.
then double click to open it this way now we are going to double click here in this layer here so to open our layer style and over here then select color overlay then i have red color here so i'm going to click ok to apply it then close this one and click yes to save it now you can see so then go back to your test and we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy so now we can duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and drag it over here so select your test tool over here and then come to this one ctrl plus a to alight all now we are going to paste it ctrl plus v to paste So the next thing you have to do then is to increase the size okay so having done that so the next one we are going to do is to duplicate this shape here then drag it over here then to duplicate it and we are going to move it drag it at the top and we will move it down to this position now so the next we're going to do is to flip it then and vertical so like this we flip it two times horizontal and vertical so i will position it over here all right then duplicate your test so this test here we are going to duplicate it Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then we are going to drag it over here. Now select your test tool. So and we are going to alight this one. Click on it to alight. Ctrl plus A to alight. Then go to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus A to alight then ctrl plus v to paste then you position it properly that is all about this tutorial this is how you can design the social media post for restaurant and any other fast food so thank you so much guys for watching if you like this video please kindly share it and if you need any of my flyer designs you can go to my Baba account today and order for any of your player design. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for following.